we decided to travel out to the number one bass lake in the United States, if not the world. This place is called Stanley Traditions. We've had multiple unreal days in the past on this lake, and now we're back to catch the biggest five bass limit of our life. If you're wanting to plan a fun corporate trip or just a family getaway, Stanley Traditions is the place for you. They offer overnight stay in this beautiful lodge, hunting, canoeing, and of course, my favorite, fishing. Make sure you book a trip at Stanley's for your next getaway. Their information will be down below. Now let's go catch some monster bass in the number one bass lake in the world. Hey, Mr. Adub Incorporated. What is going on today, sir? We're out here catching bass on our mock combos at Stanley Traditions. And they're not little bass. They're big bass. How big? Eh, about like this. Eh, come on now. Or you oh, do that. Maybe this. Come on. Uh, uh, mm, uh, maybe like this. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the ones we're looking for. I like how you're talking now. I'm rigged up. Old Thunder Cricket with the Blade Minnow. White and Chartreuse on my Kicking Their Bass TV. x -Lose Combo. If you guys want to check them out, kickingtheirbass.com. I'll pop the link up on the screen and down below. Most versatile combo available anywhere. That is factual. And that is that is very factual. It's just... 10 XDs. <laughs> And <laughs> we've seen it you all. You are covered with the kicking their catch bass combo. To catching big red fish, to catching massive catfish. I mean, flounder, you name it. <laughs> that you name it, we've caught it. Gets it done. <laughs> like they should be about right there. If I don't get bit there. Too far to the right, but you still might get one. Oh, dude, I got slammed. Yeah. Further at. Before we get deeper into this video, only 27% of you all watching these videos are actually subscribed. So if you could take the time, hit the subscribe button. It really helps the channel. I'd appreciate it. I'm surprised there's not any on this point that's that's biting us right now though. We gotta get a fish for you. I know. We gotta get the monkey off our back to get something started here. Maybe we'll find them. We they weren't on that point. We thought there were gonna be some bedding up on it. They might be down this a little more, heading into this pocket. It's makes sense. A little sense. bit more of a protected area. Yeah. That right there isn't protected at all. We mm -mm. saw that with the See, if they're out on that point, they're feeding. Yeah, they're probably not there spawning because it's... I was like, no, it's What was that? That could have really sucked. I guess a tree, dude. I did not know that was there. Knock my transducer hard. All right, guys, we're getting into some juicy territory. Yeah. Yeah. This should be money. Looks like a winner. Money, dude. This looks better than anything we fished today. Bunch of lay down, some wind blowing up in it. Seems like he could, he should smack you in that. But I got one. Yeah, that one, yeah. Like a three, huh? Well, that is like a one and a half, two pounder. He looked way bigger. He did. I think he shrunk. <laughs> he definitely did shrink. <laughs> I saw what you saw. <laughs> well, there's our first fish, Adam. Yep. I think we're getting somewhere. I think we're going to finally get him to bite. Thank you, baby. I hopped it over that branch and it was done. That's all she wrote. Mm hmm. Oh, I bet there is. That was nice. Maybe we'll find a couple more. There's gotta be more yeah, than. There's gotta be a couple more. If that fish is on bed, that was a twinky little male. Mm -hmm. He's actually skinny. All the other fish we've seen today have been. Yeah, I know. It's almost like he was like punched Yeah. He's just lost. Yeah. <laughs> He's the only one back here. There's another one in the same spot. I don't know, I cast it there. Oh, dude, thumped me so bad. Really? Yeah, cast it in there. Just one hard like hit. Just 100% one sitting there. It's like right to the right of that little stump that you see. Once you hop it over that second branch, you might fill and bite it. That might be a big one. I, I'm not caught up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice hey, get, get the net. Get the net. Get the net. Oh. Wow. 
Oh, he's in your line. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, my God. This is a mess. <laughs> that is a mess. <laughs> All for a five pounder. Oh, my goodness. That's a nice one, dude. got line everywhere. Okay, it shouldn't be too bad. Yeah. Holy moly. We got us a big one. That might be six, Adam. Yeah, that's a fat I'm belly. Playing. You get it? Yeah. I was going to try to pop this out. It might be easier. There you go. Here we go, boys and girls. That's the size that we want. Big old female. Look at her belly, too, man. We'll flop her on the scale real quick. This is the best the wind's going to get on this bank because we have it to her back. What do you, you want to take a guess? Let me see it. I think it's a six. 575. Okay. I'll say six. Adam said 575. And she turned off. Thank you. Uh oh. We were both wrong. Five and a half. Oh, well, I was closer. But... That's the, that one's pre spawn. The only reason I thought it was a little higher is because of how long. And it's so and she's thick. Yeah. Look but... at the tail. The tail's not bloody. Yeah, it isn't. Pre spawn. Pre spawn bass. Thank you, baby. There she goes. Good one. That's awesome. We, oh, we just had to get the monkey off her back and then we got a big one. She was off, dude. And you know what's wild about that? How many casts did we throw in that same spot? Probably four. A lot. And then she finally bit it. I couldn't tell how big she was because she was running. It's like, that's where I caught her, right? Where you're at. Yeah, it was just stuck. She's probably sitting on that. This is actually a Strike King Rage Crawl on a quarter ounce bullet weight, three out extra wide gap hook. We're throwing June bug. Water's a little stained from the rain this past couple of days. There's gotta be another fish. Might just be, we've gotta slow it down right here. Maybe. I mean, there's two there. There's one big one. There's gotta be another big one, right? Somewhere in the vicinity. I think so. Oh no, you hit it dead on the money. It's the wind. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you shouldn't throw that bait. <laughs> uh, guess what? We're going back to the rage crawl. Oh, I just got slammed at him. Oh, wait, wait, wait. If I actually would have followed through there, I would have had him. What was that? Pulled your pants down. He pulled my pants down, and I didn't follow through. That was my fault. Oh, no. What happened? Was that a fish? Oh, no. That was so weird. It might have been three. We're just gonna say it was a tree because if it was a bass, that that's was where I missed that fish. Right where you're at. Should get bit. I like these little isolated, like little piles that are sitting out too. I'm gonna be at the Bassmaster Classic this upcoming weekend, the 24th through the 26th. If you guys wanna know the exact times that I'm gonna be there, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. Make sure you guys are signed up to our tech service, which you can go to kickintheirbass.com to find out. It's at the Knoxville Convention Center in Tennessee. This is one of those events that we plan once a year and it's a great experience getting to meet all of y'all. I was just at Redcrest in Charlotte. We met hundreds of y'all and it was just a great time. So I wanna see y'all there. Oh gosh, he ate me right there. Look at this. Look at that. Look at him running. Oh. He broke me off. Oh no. We'll never know how big that fish was, and he had it in his gullet, I bet you. No. Look at the boil. That fish felt so heavy. That was probably a good one. Adam, that fish felt so heavy. Wow. Oh my god. That's the second time I broke off today. Oh really? <laughs> they get it in there. Some of them are just not eating it, and then some of them are just eating it all the way. It makes no sense. What in the world? I think that was a big one. The last one I wasn't too upset about, but I actually think that was a really large one. My bait went from on that bank at him to here. It just felt really heavy when I lifted up. I know it was big, I just don't know how big. I probably don't need to know, actually. Let's just say that didn't happen. <laughs> we're getting on some guys, we're getting bites. We just got, we gotta lock it in here. We're, we're being a little, I don't know, immature with how we're handling these fish i'm not capitalizing when i'm presented them i dead stick stuck that bait for a minute i was watching you oh my gosh you can about took my head off i will say both of those fish were off the bank that five and a half and then that one i broke off they were just they were slow and they were off the bank i had to work it a lot slower than it's like i kind of just like sit there you know lift up and i felt weight
got it. There you go. What a professional. What a pro. What a pro. Yeah, I got one. I landed around his melon, dude. Just straight up. <laughs> Look, he ate half my thing. It, I'm talking the bait hit the water, I click, and I'm like, wait a minute, there's a tree. No, there's not. Melon. Right on his melon. I'm about to give it to him again right here. Watch this. All right, buddy. You're about to get hooked set. Just bite me, please. Yep, he bit me. And he's on. Oh, a good one. Oh, oh. Oh. That was an eight, nine pounder, buddy. That was an eight, nine pounder. I just straight lost. That was an eight, nine pounder right there. You think I'll eat again? Yes. He saw me though with his two eyes. Doesn't matter. Okay. Bro, what? Isn't it sad that I came and react? Guys, I've caught way too many big fish this week, and I think my big fish, uh, my big bass energy isn't is, is uh, it's, it's a little depleted. Right it, it is a little depleted. That was a giant. It's and I didn't try to hook set him hard because it scared me that I was gonna break off again. So I li barely lifted up on him when I probably should have. His mouth is thick, you know. That's a big one. Yeah, you can have that one later. That might be. I don't think that's your PV, but that's your top three big fish. Probably that was a. Giant. That that was a eight nine pounder. What's got it? No way. Get him, Adam. Is it him? It might be him. It might be him. It's a male. Hold on, hold on. That ain't a male. That was big. How big? That's a nice one. Oh my gosh. Four or five pounds. That's, if that's a that male. One, if that's a male, we got a problem. <laughs> that's a five pounder. That's not the one that you just had come off, though. That one I just had come off. Can you like, agree with me? It eight, was nine pounds. It was double this. Yeah, yeah. Can you agree with me on that? It was giant. It was eight or nine. Yeah. 100%. You know what sucks, Adam? That's one of those ones that's probably hard to get him to bite, but I happened to land on his head and get them all. Oh, yeah. Like, just got it riled up that quick. Hey, you take a picture of me real quick? Yeah, that's yeah, a good fit. Here, put them. You want to follow them on the scale? Yeah, let's see how big it is. That's that it's might be. Five. It looks a little shy. I don't know. I could be wrong. I think it's a five, bro. That's a good fit. Where's the scale? Yeah. Is that the male? <laughs> it's just There's a different no fish. Way. It's just a different fish. It's got to be a female. It's just a different fish. They could be spawning together. I don't know what this thing's doing. I, don't know. I, I think she's a four, four pound, twelve ounce. 412. This is exactly what I said. <laughs> it wasn't it. I think so. I think I said 412. Four pounds, uh, four you and three quarter. Yeah, I got you. That was, that was yeah, that was a mega dude. We're talking about that fish, guys. It kind of. <laughs> it, it hurt me a little like, bit. You PTSD. I mean, it's just like, wow. Adam, if I hadn't caught all them seven, eight, nine pounders this week, I'd be, a, I'd be in a yeah, be ball a right now in the bottom of the boat, but. Makes it a little bit better knowing that I at least got some good one. Or I caught a good one earlier too, guys. I caught a 725. You guys can go check that out in the other episode. But I think we're going to get one. I, I really believe we can get one nine. Not, uh, up there in the nines. To yeah, that maybe, was, that maybe was an 11. That was close right there. That one, yeah. That one is. I really think she was nine with how thick she was. You might be right with that, man. I just think that fish looked me in the eyes and he saw my eyeballs. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, we, we looked at each other in slow motion. There's got to be some right here out of the middle. Oh, right there. Oh, my gosh. What kind of hook set was that? Right, it was called he that did was, not have it. That was weak sauce. Well, dude, I'm, I'm scared now. I don't want to break it. Next time, just hand me the rod and I'll set the hook for you. I mean, you want to? Yeah. He's on there. <laughs> no, he's not. Yeah, he is. You want him? No. You don't want one? Uh oh. Well, you want to cast in there, catcher? He's free. Here, this is this. If I don't catch him, this guy's you just go right up in there. Go for it, dude. That would be pretty crazy. That's probably why you didn't bit. <gasps> no, he didn't. Yes. No, he didn't. Yes. Oh my gosh, and it's a five pounder. <laughs> Bro, what did you just do? Adam, you know what's crazy? You were saying that, and then I, what was about to come out of my mouth is he was, pro that's probably why he didn't bite me because he was looking at you and you already had hooks at. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was awesome. That's that's one of the coolest moments. That was awesome. Oh, got a crank paint <laughs> in my foot.
Got a oh, snake in my boot. I hope you guys could see that, but I got to move this little tiny branch. I was just dangling the rage crawl right on top of the water. I was just like, oh yeah, he's gonna bite it. He came up and ate it on top of the water. That was nutty. I'm not gonna lie, that, that was legit. How do they pull up on this wall in bed? Do you think they're like, this one's for rent, this one's for rent? You yeah, know, this, this house is right for sale. About 150K. This you know, that's about a million dollars off the end of that pipe, right? Dude, these big ones are getting prime real estate because they've been around for a while. What in the world just happened? What is going on, man? Little did we know. I didn't think this cove was going to be that good. I really didn't. I didn't think we were about to catch them like that or have the opportunities that we've had, right? Call so right between my seven and my five that I had there, I have... Uh, 1275 so almost 13 pounds yeah you caught what almost a five pounder yeah that one was probably what three and a half four no 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 that oh that one okay yeah. so you caught the 475 yeah. so that puts us at 517 1750 that puts us at 1750 mm -hmm. three and a half 21 or 20 21 yeah 21 and then if we so if we catch another four pounder we got 25 pounds yeah if we caught the eight pounder we'd have about 28 <laughs> and that that sounds like we're getting a dirty 30. i hope so. i've never called dirty 30. oh it is it guys this is where i caught a 1049 on scale oh you caught the 10 out of the brush pile yeah the 1049 came out of this one. Oh. and i cast it five times on my jig before you bit five <laughs> You know, I think I was talking about how I was dangling my rage crawl, but I think I was actually dangling the space monkey. <laughs> Have you ever dangled a space monkey? Yeah. Well, I dangled the space monkey, and that's what happened. You just got to be dangling the space monkey, though. How do you catch fish? You dangle the space monkey? Dangle it. You basically it's throw it into the trees on purpose, and then you just let the bait hit the water, and then they just come up for it. Yeah. It's just so beautiful. They see it, and they're just like... I have to eat you. That's like the way to catch big fish. I mean, it's filet mignon. That's what it is. So, guys, this is a little red bouncer by Mog. It's got a nice rough grab wall. I mean, it would make sense. I would normally get parallel with this, but you got one, don't you? You have a bite? I don't know if he's still on there. You bit it, but I don't think See, that, they're wanting a bottom bait right now. But these fish were actually eating, guys. Like, they were eating, like... Eating, though, yeah, right it'd be a great little feeding spot. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, I think under that bridge that connects to this island, there he is. He stopped at cold turkey. I hit the rock with it, Adam. Oh my gosh, hey, get the net for me. Yeah, I can. Oh, dude, it's giant. That's a big one. Don't fall now. I'm trying to. Oh my gosh, stay on, baby. Stay on, mama. Oh! <laughs> on the bouncer. Dude, he choked it. I bounced it right off that rock, bro. Just right off the tip of that rock. He choked it. Oh my gosh. Look at that, boys. Wow. Mock bouncer. Check him out either on mocknation.com. Link will be down below, or you can go get them at Dick's Sporting Goods. That color right now, Adam, that's it. Perfect for the spring. Right there. We should weigh that one, but he is bleeding. He is bleeding. I just want to get him back in the water, get him, get him healthy, 100%. Beautiful. About a four pounder. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Wow, that was such a cool bite. I haven't really had many reaction bites today, if any. We could catch them on the crawl, so that felt good to get something to react. We were just talking about it too, and it happened. It makes sense to catch them on the crawl bait, throw on a crawl bouncer, and get it done. Yeah, that color right there is just. That's perfect for the spring. That's the best. Yeah, that's it. Ever. But when I cast the dude, it hit the rock. It wasn't like I was that. I was closer than that. Really? I think one just slapped me. Really? That's my. <laughs> We might be on some. Might be a little reaction deal right here. You got wind. You got angry looking crankbaits and big old bass. That's a good combination, right? Great combination. Should be a couple there. Those sea walls have been good. When I caught it, I was sitting out here. I was sitting right here and I pulled it back this way. And that's my I got it. There should be a couple here. You would think. 
I mean, the seawall has just proven itself today, I feel like. Seawalls just are great for spawning. That's kind of great. I love seawalls. Yeah, on the Cypress Street. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's a good that's a big one, Adam. I could see it. That's a big one, that's a big one, that's a big one. Yeah. Looks like about a five. Cow. That was him. Wow. Wow. He ain't five, he's four. Yeah, that's a good one though. That's a good one. You can't really fill these fish that's until so they're there. That's a nice one. Yeah. Here we go boys, another really respectable bass. Yeah, it's hard to tell because they start running, you don't really know until they're up on the boat. They got, I don't know. They got that big bass, they do, indeed. www.kickingtheirbasstv.com to grab your big bass today. Kicking their bass, kicking their bass.com. Forget, forget the TV part. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No way. Dude, th throw up, throw up there. I'll let I'm you have it. right now. <laughs> what in the world? They is liking this rage crawl today, man. I got your line. You want to do it? He's right off this, that rock. Well, yeah. dang, I didn't do that. I don't know, it's, it's kind of out where you're at. Might have been that I think it might be a different bed, though. You know, I would just take my, uh, I'll try to skip out there, but it's a little log. Uh-oh, Adam. Is it still on? Adam, That's big bass. bass. Oh, he, he ain't that big. I, I, I mean, it's a nice one. That was a bass, dude. Oh my God. Guys, they are freaking biting. I hope so. That's a skinny one. See, that one's got the summer bod. All right, guys, we're going back for this eight, nine pounder that I lost. I know that fish is a solid at least eight. We're going to freaking catch it. We're going to weigh her too. She's back in here. If one of us hook this fish, dude, we need the net, 100%. We ain't playing games. Is it her? Okay. Okay. That scared me, dude. Might be her boyfriend. Definitely. Be a good thing. That's the male. Maybe she'll bite now. If it wasn't the male to her, it was the male to that other one. Well, I feel like your other one was more on the other side. It was. Uh oh. Hold on. I don't know. I felt something. Adam, that was her. She went thump thump. <laughs> Put her big old lips on it. That that was her though, hundred percent. There ain't any other fish up there. You caught that one. You caught the male. No way, Adam. Adam. Oh no! You missed her, dude. You missed her. I don't know if that was her, bro. Was Adam. You know how them bed fish are though, like you can't like do but so much. It's like, do they want you to hook set fast or do they want you to wait? Well, it just depends on how they've got it. You know, sometimes they'll have it where they're just grabbing the tail or they've got it hanging in their mouth sideways. Like you can only control so much. Oh. I was right after she bit me, it made sense. Did it be working? I just don't want to hook her again and not get her. You didn't really no. have her like I, Tails off, look. Sure, it wasn't her. I don't know, it just followed me out though. You want to throw a couple right there? Mm. Hey, if we're not going back in soon, that's up to you. She said, uh, they're almost ready for me. Almost. Yeah, that, that was the key right. word. That was the one word that I heard out of the sentence. So. Yeah, almost ready. Oh, giant, Adam. Giant. Giant. That's a big one. I don't know, I didn't get it. Look. 
That's a giant. I don't I don't think she's that big now. Probably it's another it's a giant though. Here we go, Adam. Ready? She's coming right up to you. She's not even that big. What in the world? You shrunk too. Did she not look like the yeah, biggest fish good, I've baby. ever seen? <laughs> hey, she's a good one. <laughs> she's a good one. I mean, that's a good four and a half pounder there. But still, she looks so large, man. Oh my goodness. She looks so large. Beautiful fish. We didn't get big girl to bite, but that's a nice over four pounder. Thank you, baby. Awesome. That was my first cast down that bank, dude. Dang. I caught him right off the bank, bro. Like, hey, this worm might be something. Might be. I mean, that was my first, like, normal cast with it. Come dude, on. that fish looks so deceiving. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that worm's it, bro. That's it, huh? This pocket, guys, is loaded straight up. The only problem with that worm I see is that it's a little large. It's so big. They could grab the tail. I agree. Oh, yeah. Come on, baby, come out. Come on, come on. Is it stuck? Yeah, it's stuck. She might have came off. Yeah, I think she came off. Wait. No? You see my line moving? She's on there. I don't want to go up on that if I don't have to. Yeah, no, I'm pulling it in. Yeah, she's still on there, dude. Really? What if this is just a fish and there's not a stick? Bro, there's literally, is there a worm? Oh, uh, it might be. Maybe, maybe there's just no fish. There is no fish. Man, that tree fought good. <laughs> I hate when they bite and then you hook set and you hook a tree. That's like the worst feeling because then you know you washed up. Yeah. You know, you washed it up. I mean, maybe. It'll still bite. That was a great bite too, dude. <laughs> 